Good morning, Falcons. I'm Hunter Dufont. This is a view from Falcons Nest. Today is Thursday, April 25th, 2024. Police have arrested 48-year-old Tony Slack in the death of a 67-year-old LaPorte County man in a hit-and-run accident on US-6 in LaPorte County. The victim was identified as Keith Eastwood. Slack was arrested and jailed on charges of leaving the scene of an accident causing death. He is held on a $20,000 bond. A prom ticket deadline was yesterday. So far, 294 students are signed up for Saturday night's event in the St. Joseph Room in South Bend. Doors will open at 7.45 p.m. If you're driving, follow the drive on the west side of the building. The bathroom, the ballroom, will be on the lower level. Prom ticket holders can purchase a John Glenn yearbook, good for a $30 discount when they order. Stop by Mr. Kitchell's room with cash, check, or money order today. Congratulations today to Ms. Carey, who has been named the 2024 John Glenn Teacher of the Year. Ms. Carey is a longtime English teacher at John Glenn. She is the English department chair and recently led the senior English trip to see Romeo and Juliet in Chicago. She is the co-senior class advisor. What is reported to be the largest economic development project in Indiana history will be happening just a few miles from John Glenn. Governor Eric Holcomb has confirmed that Amazon will be building a new data center in New Carlisle. The $11 billion project will add approximately 1,000 jobs when it opens, but it will, will provide many construction jobs before then. In this week's installment of Health Minute, the Food and Drug Administration has issued warning letters and filed civil money penalty complaints against retailers engaged in underage sale of various flavors of Zen nicotine pouches. According to the U.S. Wireless and Emergency Network, the FDA issued 119 warning letters to brick and motor retailers, filed 41 civil money penalty complaints, seeking more than $55,000 in total for underage sales of flavored Zen nicotine pouches, including Espressino, Black Cherry, Lemon Sprite, and Cucumber Lime. Zen nicotine pouches are manufactured by Swedish Match, which is owned by Marlboro mark maker Philip Morris International. PMI claims that the pouches do not contain tobacco and are inherently smoking-free. The FDA said it was illegal for any retailer to sell any tobacco product, including cigarettes, e-cigarettes, cigars, and nicotine pouches, to anyone under the age of 21. The agency had added that nicotine pouches were a type of tobacco product. New tobacco products to be legally marketed in the United States must receive an authorization. The FDA said, adding that to date, it had authorized only four oral tobacco products. As of April, the FDA had not authorized any Zen products for sale in the United States, it said. And that's this week's Health Minute. Now the weather with Nick. Good morning, Falcons. So on your Glen forecast out there right now, it is sunny with a current temperature of 35, a real feel of 41, and our lovely good air quality. Now moving on to your 30-day forecast, Thursday is going to have a high of 58, low of 30, and sunny. Friday is going to have a high of 65, low of 37, and cloudy. And then Saturday is going to have a high of 75, low of 59, and raining. That's all we have for weather. Now to main desk sports. The weather forecast is clear and cold and bowl of action on diamonds tonight. The baseball team hosts South Central Satellite. The softball team will play at South Central. Both games start at 5.30. Glenn's baseball team has both dropped games at Elkhart last night. The varsity swept Washington Township last weekend by scores of 7-0 and 9-3. The softball team defeated Rochester 13-11. The boys track team lost to Winnemac 69-62, while the girls won their meet by the same score. In girls tennis, the ladies down South Bend Clay 7-6. They'll continue to play in the Northern Indiana Conference Tournament at Leaper Park. Now back to lunch with Nick. So for your lunch today, we're going to be having a turkey sausage patty or a hot and spicy chicken patty with hash brown rounds, celery sticks, a variety of fresh fruit, and an Eggo mini, ma an Eggo mini maple waffle bites. That's all we have time for today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.